who of you has wondered what it takes to bring a client into your organization? Who of you is in business that has wondered what steps does someone have to go through in order to engage someone to do business? How many of you think that it's a simple step, simple process to grow a business? The ability to put all kinds of information on the internet and that we can access it through any device, computer, smartphone, tablet, has really, Sam, allowed us to be intelligent consumers. And because of that, we have a multitude of choices. It's a buyer's market. So what's someone that has a service or product going to do in order to engage business, to do business? And so you can understand the complexity of it. Very simple, straight four areas. The connection part, the conversation part, the conversion, and a referral. So where is the problem? If it's so easy, why doesn't everybody do this? Who of you has wondered what it takes to bring a client into your organization? Who of you is in business that has wondered what steps does someone have to go through in order to engage someone to do business? How many of you think that it's a simple step, simple process to grow a business. You're right. Many think it's very complicated. Because you see, business can be complex. We're in a world where we have a lot of complexity in terms of being able to have products or services, availability, delivery, customer service, all those things, both consumer and commercial areas. It's a complex world. And the competition is getting stronger out there. And regulations get tougher. And as you can see, Shannon, things are not what they used to be. You see, I started out as a salesman many years ago, 20 years ago plus. I was selling computers. I would call someone that's in charge of an organization, whether it was the owner or in charge of their technology area, set up an appointment, go in, meet with them, understand their needs, and be able to do a proposal and provide that proposal and just wait to get the business. Nancy, those days were a lot of fun. Those days are gone. Fast forward to this day. The complexity is because the clients, the customers themselves, are in many cases much more knowledgeable than the salespeople. You see, what happened was, Shannon, 10 plus years ago or more, Google happened. Internet happened. The ability to put all kinds of information on the internet and that we can access it through any device, computer, smartphone, tablet, has really, Sam, allowed us to be intelligent consumers. And because of that, we have a multitude of choices. It's a buyer's market. So what's someone that has a service or product going to do in order to engage business, to do business.
And so you can understand the complexity of it. And so breaking this down, there's really four components that we really need to know and get really, really good at this in order to do business. Four components. And you might wonder, well, that seems simple enough, easy enough to remember. And it's done on that purpose because there really is just four components. Number one is the ability to connect with someone. Certainly we've been doing that. I used to call on the phone and connect with someone person to person. The connection part, that's number one. Number two is a conversation. Now, we know how to have a conversation. We can meet with somebody. We can call them on the phone. Skype. We can do a video conference. We could call across the world today and have the ability to have a conversation. Number three is convert that client or prospect into someone that you can do business with, exchange business, the client conversion. And number four, once they become a client, just ask for referrals. Who else do you know like you that you might tell me because you're a satisfied client that we can, that I can also call on them and have a referral. So there you have it. Very four, very simple, straight four areas. The connection part, the conversation part, the conversion, and a referral. So where is the problem? If it's so easy, why doesn't everybody do this? So let's lay this out a little bit more because here's where we put it on a model like this. And we put it in a quadrant. And so I said number one is the connection. And I mentioned connection by phone, by in person, however you connect. Today, quite frankly, we could do it with social media. LinkedIn, because everybody's on LinkedIn, certainly that's a good way to connect. So connection's number one. Next is a conversation. Now the conversation, of course, in person, over the phone, with Skype, it's a conversation about what that person is facing, their challenges, their direction, their focus. So people know how to have those kind of conversations. Then we have a conversion because once there's an understanding about the focus of the client that they want to have and their challenge to getting there, and you can offer something to eliminate the challenge, you just convert them to a client. Simple. And the fourth is once they convert their client, get referrals. Simple. So where is the problem? If it's so simple, why doesn't everybody do this? Well, you see, this portion here, let's call it passive. And let's call this portion over here active. So you have a passive, making a connection, getting referrals, that's somewhat passive. Active, you're actually having a conversation, you're actually converting to a client, that's active. Here, let's call this part preparation, because you really have to be prepared in some fashion. And some people go to a lot of training to go through the preparation. You have to know how to connect. Certainly we know how to use the phone, but do we know how to use LinkedIn correctly? Do we know how to use different tools correctly? The preparation here, and yes, there is training to do that. And the conversation is also preparation, if you think of it. It's a little more active, but it's also preparation, meeting about the situation, the direction, the focus, the challenge, and the solution. And from here, 
the conversion. It's now it's very active, and we call it the execution. You really execute here. Things like when would you like it? How would you like it? How will payments be made? Agreements, all those things get tied in. Very active in the execution part. And once that is done, of course, referrals. Who else do you know that could use this? Who else could you share that with me? So you see, we go from connection to conversation to conversion to referrals. And once I give you a referral, you go back to connection. You just start it over. So four steps. Anybody could do this. So why doesn't everybody do this? Here's the catch. The catch is that everybody that has a business, a deliverable, a service, is really good at converting them to clients. If you have a client that's ready, willing, and able to pay money with a problem and you have the solution, this part is easy. What happens is all the other three steps are challenging because we focus on this. In fact, I'll go one more step further, Shannon, and say that we really fundamentally just want to be order takers. Order takers. Because you see, fundamentally all that we want is to just be given money for our service. Ask Amazon. They just ship. They don't have to go look for them. Of course, they have a whole setup the website. They don't have to have a conversation. They don't have to get referrals. They, you know, they, it just works. Amazon works. Apple just works. But we are not all Amazon or Apple. We're everybody else. So the point is this. Change from being an order taker to what we call a solution provider so that you focus on number one, number two, you know number three, and start learning about referrals, number four. We're all business people. And I challenge you to take this step to go beyond being an order taker to a complete solution provider, going from preparation to execution, from a passive to an active state. We call this the client acquisition simplified. Your next step, connect with me at referring.me, www.referring.me, and provide me with someone, a referral that would want to talk to me.